Welcome to video number six and in this video I'm going to take a look at oscillators, uh, specifically why doesn't oscillators necessarily start up in LT spice and this is because LT works from perfect values so if there is no noise in the system, the oscillator is not necessarily going to start running on its own. In real world applications, they start up because there is imbalances and the oscillator will start up. So in Altispice, there is a setting to automatically do this. Sometimes oscillators do start up on their own you sometimes need to run the simulation for a while and then it's just a, a imbalance in values that actually causes the noise in the system so it starts to, to oscillate and thirdly I'm going to show you that there is a, a way to to kind of ensure that, that the oscillator starts when the second option does not work. In, I know in older versions of LT Spice, setting the power supplies will not always start. And after I showed you this, I will also do some FFT things on the oscillator for the interest of it, or the people that's interested in, in this. But, Let's jump into starting up our oscillators. So, here I have my Winebridge oscillator. I'm using a TL074, 12 volt sources. It was designed for 15 kilohertz. And this limiting circuit is designed to limit our output to 4.5 volts peak. But I'm first going to run this without the limiting circuit so that I can show you a couple of things on the FFT afterwards. Getting the oscillator to start, we first need to set up a simulation. So let's set up something for 100 milliseconds and it will run. And if I click here, you'll see that this thing takes. A couple of milliseconds before anything happens. So at about 45 milliseconds we start to have our oscillation on the output. Now what happens is simulators tend to work off perfect values. Now for my computer after about 45 milliseconds for some reason there is a bit of an imbalance in some values and that counts as noise for this oscillator and it starts to work. Right, so this may vary from PC to PC. On your PC if you only did a 10 millisecond simulation you probably would have, have seen anything happen in your oscillation and wondered have I built this thing correct. Okay, so there is a way around this. So the first option to get oscillations is to wait for your PC to actually just start oscillating and this can be very long simulations and sometimes not even get anything out. Okay, LT Spice has built in an option here, start external DC supply voltages at 0 volts. So you can click that, and this means that these supplies is not from the beginning at 12. They will gradually start up, and this is an imbalance according to the model, and then the oscillation will start. So if I run this now, it does start from zero volts here. Okay, so the oscillation will start and 
often to the point where it saturates our op-amp. Okay, so that's the second option. I found in earlier versions of LT Spice, this startup does not always work. Okay, second of other simulation software does not have a startup option and these supplies will always be at 12. Okay, so no imbalance will be caused and your oscillator will never oscillate. So some people will have to build in a switch or in LTI I found that we can take one of these supplies, go to its advanced option, generate a pulse wave that starts off at zero, goes to our 12 volts, delay with 20 nanoseconds, rise time one nano, fall time one nano, and just keep it on until way past our simulation. So 100 here is much greater than our 100 milliseconds in any case. So having this as a pulse, there will definitely be an imbalance between the two sources and our oscillator will start. And voila, it started. No startup was added here. And we didn't have to wait 45 milliseconds for this thing to go. So it does start up really quickly. Um, I found that this is the safest way to do the simulation since the startup didn't work for me in earlier versions of LT and on other oscillators. So this is the safest option when start from zero does not work for you. Right, so FFTs. If we run an FFT on this now, this garbage at the beginning will be included in our Fourier transform. Right, so there will be a lot more noise generated. And this first spike here is our oscillation frequency. And you can zoom in on it and get a cursor and kind of find oscillation frequency at 15.2 kilohertz, 17.27 dBs. You can convert these dBs back to volts RMS. And if you want to peak voltage, just remember to multiply by the root of 2. Okay, so this is what an oscillator looks like if you do a FFT. And we have these noise spikes due to the fact that we have our amplifier saturating. Now, one of the things that people usually want to do is to trim down this simulation time and maybe just start saving from 99 milliseconds so that you can see your full wave, which is fair if you want to do a quick simulation on just the waveform. Okay, so if we run this, we will only see a bit of the info, but if we do a FFT on this information, you will find that this now has a very large skirt. They call it a skirt. Okay, because it looks like, like one. And you'll find that most of our harmonics is not even included in here. Okay, so you always want to save more time when you're doing your simulation and want a nice FFT. Right, so doing this only for one millisecond, we don't get all of our noise out, or we don't see our noise in our FFT, and this thing is very inaccurate. Okay, so first lesson learned, 
is we want a lot of data if we want to do A50. Okay, so if we include our limiting circuit and move this VN to the back here, we will see our output will look more like sinusoidal waves. There is still some noise on it if you zoom in far enough because of a non-linear effect of these diodes being added. But we are now at four and a half volts peak. So if we do F of T on this, you can see our signal here and you can see the impurities being added and you can calculate the total harmonic distortion of this, wherever you feel the noise level is, let's say here. You can calculate the RMS of this, RMS, 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 and just do the total harmonic distortion calculation. And there you go. Okay. So there is a bit more on The FFT, the effect of a limiting circuit, nonlinear elements, and how to actually start a simulation for an oscillator. Okay, but more of the information of the oscillators themselves I will cover in a different video where I'm actually discussing the oscillators themselves. This video was more intended on the starting up and a bit more information on fast free transforms or LT spice. Thank you and see you in a next video. This is the last video ever on LT spice tutorials that is needed for electronics. Thank you and have a nice day.